Hi, my name is Brooke Owen. This is the second video in a series of videos talking about the oboe. Just a little bit about myself. I'm a sophomore in college and I've been playing oboe for 10 years. I'm a future music educator and I cannot wait to teach you about the oboe reed. So, the oboe and bassoon are part of the double reed family. Unlike the single reed family, which consists of clarinet and saxophone, double reeds have two pieces of cane that vibrate together. Single reeds have one piece of cane that vibrates against the mouthpiece. So, today we're gonna to talk about the care and maintenance of the reed, the importance of our reed, and where you can buy oboe reeds that are great quality and will make you sound fantastic. First, we're gonna talk about the care and maintenance of the oboe reed. So when you buy an oboe reed, it's going to come in what's called a coffin. It's a little plastic um, container and it does not have any ventilation. So while it may be tempting to keep your oboe reed in that little plastic container, reeds get wet after we play them. And so when you put it back in that plastic container after you've been playing, it will most likely grow mold. And you do not want to play on a moldy reed. So instead, when you rent or buy your oboe, you need to also buy a reed case. Mine's a little extravagant, but you can buy reed cases that have three slots. And they don't have to be patterned. They're, they're relatively cheap. They're about $10. But they ensure that your reeds get ventilation while they're sitting in the case. You can actually see this on mine. It's a very small hole. But right there, it allows air to come in and out so that my reeds do not get moldy after I put them in the case. So, after you've bought a case and know how to put your reeds in there, you're about to play. You take your reed out. What you do, first thing, is soak it in water. Um, the reason you don't want to soak it in your saliva or in any other juice or anything else is that the reed is essentially made out of wood. And the best thing to hydrate wood is water. Saliva is acidic. It's not good for the wood. Your reed will get older quicker, if that makes sense. So the, what you can do is when you are putting stuff in your case, you can put a pill bottle or a film, film canister, or I have an old um, bubble container. Make a note you blow bubbles. And then what this does, it ensures that you always have water to soak your reed in. You can buy like a 20 pack of these little pumpkins on um, Amazon if you're interested. So, I soak my reed in the water. I set it in there carefully, and I wait about 30 seconds to a minute, just depending if you live in a dry climate or a humid climate. If the reed is not wet, it will not vibrate correctly, and you won't be able to make sound. So after it's wet, I suck the water out of it so that we have a clear way for our air to go through the reed. By the way, this is the opening of the reed. We have to blow our air through that tiny hole. So it's important, so it's important that we keep in mind how delicate the reed is. Let's say you put the reed in the oboe, you're sitting like this or like this, or your oboe's out here. You're putting your reed in danger. This tip, the more clear part of the reed up there, is thinner than paper. And if it gets hit, um, it's going to break and you no longer have a reed that works. So we know that it can be hit, but when we're putting it in our mouths, we want to make sure not to hit our teeth. That can also bend the tip and ruin your reed. So an easy way to do this Set it on your bottom lip and then create your embouchure. 
so you're not sticking it in your mouth, which will most likely cause you to hit your teeth. After you've played, you want to take the reed out of the oboe first, so that, like I said, nothing can hit it while you're trying to put the oboe away. Put it securely in one of the holders and shut your case. If you do this and all those steps, your reed should last about a month, maybe even a month and a half if you're really lucky. But if you don't take care of your reed, it could only last a week or two weeks before it starts to sound bad. And because reeds are so expensive, it's nice to take care of them so that you get your money's worth. Reeds are what give you the power to either have great sound and great tuning or terrible sound. And it's all in the quality of reeds you buy and how well you take care of them. Music and Arts has oboe reeds and I think bassoon reeds, but they're often machine made and they're either super sharp or super flat. Instead, what you can do is buy reeds online that are handmade and will be delivered to you with care. If you have a lesson teacher, they will often make reeds for themselves. And if they're generous, they will sell you some of the reeds they make. Now, buying oboe reeds that are handmade can range from $15 to $30. But remember, if you take care of it, it can last you a month or a month and a half. There are also several great websites where you can buy reeds if you don't have a lesson teacher that can sell you any reeds. The first one is rosereeds.com. The, the oboist has been making reeds for 20 years. And if you, get, if you get a bad reed, just remember that that's a person you can talk to about it. And I'm sure you can work something out. The next one is pnwreeds.com. You can buy a monthly su subscription to get reads in the mail, which will save you the hassle of logging onto the website every time and having to buy two or three reads. I'm pretty sure their monthly subscription is $16.95, which is a great deal for reads, and plus they're handmade. So it can guarantee that you can talk to someone about it and you'll probably have a better tone than if you bought a store-bought read. Another read you can buy is from a friend of mine. She runs her own Instagram and website where you can message her and buy reads. It's carolinecato.weebly.com and her Instagram is carolinecaneco. Um, she is such a great oboist. She's a graduate student and I'm sure she would appreciate all the love that you would give if you bought her reads. She's also a small business, so if you have a problem, it's very easy to talk to her about what your problem is. The last one that I'm going to mention is singandog.com. And with this website, you can buy different levels of reeds. So they offer a basic reed and a excellent reed. If you're a sixth grader, you don't need to worry about buying the excellent reed because you're still developing your tone. Of course, the original read is cheaper, so just go with that one. If you're in high school or college and you're still buying reads online, you should buy the excellent read. You have already developed your tone and tuning, and you should be buying the best reads you can so that you can sound the best you can. And, ag and again, all the great things about buying handmade reads is that it's being made by a person. So customer service will be a lot easier than if you go to music and arts and buy from a big company. Here are some brands especially to avoid when you're buying reads at music and arts or another music store. Do not buy Emerald. Emerald is machine made. And while you may think that it's okay and it's okay in a pinch, you don't want to make a habit of playing on bad reads. Another brand that you must stay away from is Jones Reeds. It comes with red thread and a wire. This wire will ruin your tone, make it harder to play, and you will always be very flat on that reed. So what we talked about today was the care and maintenance of oboe reeds, why they're so important for our instrument, and where you can buy great reeds that are handmade 
by oboists that have been making reads for a very long time. I hope this video was informative and expect another video from me soon. Bye.